Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I hope you all had an awesome weekend and if you celebrate Halloween I hope you've got lots of candy. Right today I'm up with a surprise creation design team haul and project share and I'm going to start with the biggest first and that is one of Nicole's new dies which is and I did see her cut this and use this on her channel. And she says it's a huge firework tassel for putting onto packages. But having said that, you can, of course, do whatever you want to. And I'm going to pull this one off. Now, Surprise Creation always fixes everything down so nicely. And then I go and destroy the packaging. But if you get in close there, you can see that one has stars all the way along it and if you lay it on top it will layer the ones underneath are shorter and you can sort of like offset them like that so that you've got the small and the large or what have you coming through right let's measure it it's monster size so let's see if I can get it all in there that is seven and a half inches cut line to cut line and then from the cut lines to the cut lines there we're almost at five and a quarter inches so that is absolutely huge now i have done some projects today and i will be back on monday next week with the rest that i haven't made and this will be one of them because I don't know, I just get the feeling that you're going to be able to use these in many ways besides doing tassels. I just have the feeling that one could be like a, a chrysanthemum, you know, those spider mums that you get, those flowers. I've got the feeling that could be that. But I also get the feeling that if you're somebody who's into making rosettes, that we're going to be able to use this as well. So... That's a great set of dies. And as I said, it's huge. And next up for largeness is one of Surprise Creations frames. Now, these are awesome. If you're somebody who likes to do big cards and decorate with flowers and whatnot, it's absolutely fabulous. But if you need to make jumbo size gift bags with bag toppers, you can see straight away that you can go from end to end there and fold that in half. And this one here, you're just going to be able to cut straight through that and you're going to be able to make a bag topper with a matching cutout in the middle of it. So that is an awesome set. And when you move it around in the light, you start to see all the different lines there that you can use and you can score and you can start to scoop up and you can start to build your own boxes. So that is a fantastic set. I'm going to put it that way around so that it fits into the camera. And here we go. I'm going in cut line. These are in out stitch frames. They are eight inches across there. And if I turn it that way cut line to cut line we are at six and a half inches so if I show you what I mean by the in and the out this piece will pop out when you cut it the whole thing will come away and you'll be left with an outer edge still on the outside of where you've removed your aperture and that is going to be stitched as well for you but an absolutely awesome fabulous size and looking across at my projects that I made today, I'm pretty sure that I use this one. Next up is the same sort of very interesting shape again, very large, put it that way. And you've almost got one of those book style dies that you can use. It's got that lovely shape that's going to give you the shape of a book. You can make smaller ones, of course, and then you've got that again. So if you wanted to do bag toppers, you're going to get this awesome outer stitch on your aperture where you thread your, your ribbon or your bow. You can even use that to make the bag. Gorgeous again. 
Surprise Creation is known for her very large dies. She does some of the um, the largest ones on AliExpress. That is eight inches. And then going across there, I'm doing the cut lines six and a half inches. So two awesome frames. And then coming up with another one, this one more square. This is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if you wanted to do a mega, mega, mega sized Halloween card, you've got all your lines there that you can just go down with your ruler and your pen and you can draw a huge spider's web there and then cut another one, lay it on top and start to build a panel of all your Halloween goodies on top of there. I mean, I know we've just gone through Halloween, but that's just a, a suggestion for you. And once again, you can follow all of these lines, crease them, bring them up towards you, and you can make yourself a gift basket, but absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's go across here. And we are eight inches again, and eight inches. So I guess this one could be, even though it's patterned, could be considered the square of the set. And then another one which is quite square, and this one is absolutely fabulous again. They really are fancy. You can do any size you want. I mean, when I'm being quite mean, <laughs> and I do use that word mean with my special paper, I will tend to use the smaller sizes so that I can get you know, three or four cards out of a 12 inch piece. But if you're making something spectacular for someone, or if you're framing a picture or a photo, use the biggest ones, use some nice mount board to cut them with, and you can frame your pictures and pop them in a frame. And they'll just look really, really professional. Right, eight inches again. And I've got the feeling it's gonna be eight inches again. Yes, it is. So those are those gorgeous set of in out stitch different shapes there from Surprise Creation. Now then, what else have we got? We next up with Nicole's Fireworks. If you saw the Surprise Creation haul video, uh, the last one that I did, she did fireworks which were sort of like spangled and starry on the edges. These are the straighter version. And once again, you can certainly make one of those spider mum flowers using this. So this is a double purpose one. And I'm going to measure just the largest at three and a quarter inches and three and a quarter inches. So that's going to give you a gorgeous size. And that's three six, that's eight, eight dies on that set. Beautiful. I never really count these because you can see how many they are. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve dies just in that set. Absolutely awesome. And next up is Nicole again. And this is that kind of linen burlap. And these are just brilliant for layering behind other dies. I particularly like things like this when I'm doing those layering flower type dies. And I have just ordered myself some, so I'm likely to use this set when those arrive, hopefully next week. <laughs> and uh, it's just gorgeous. It's also great for doing a picnic theme, you know, summer. You can put that down on a nice gingham background, cut it in white or foil or something. You can put all your strawberries and everything around it. Just a great feel and also, of course, very vintage. Nice for layering up in your junk journals and doing in like vintage distress inks and stuff like that. Right at its longest point there, it's three and three quarters on the largest one. And then the smaller one, I'm going to say almost two and three quarters. So those are absolutely gorgeous. Nice size little apertures there dotted about. So even though we know we don't like to poke everything out, you can still poke through these. So they're a very, very good size. Next up is my design. And this is a slimline patchwork.
and I've already used it and I've got it all hanging off the edges because that's what I do and the idea behind this of course is not just because it's a nice stitched slimline it's a basic die it's so that you can cut apertures into your slimline cards and turn certain sections of it into a shaker or you can do your stamps and have them popping out through little windows and then just layer it onto another one so that you've got your front and your back there but also so that you can use your scraps of scrapbook paper those little images that you think are really pretty but you don't want to throw them away but how are you going to get them onto a card or you know something like that you can cut out your small butterfly and you can pop it there and you can just patchwork the whole thing together so that you can have your sentiments or your little piece of poetry whatever it is that you want to do so that's what this one is for hopefully saving you a bit of money on cardstock and that's eight and a quarter inches long and the width of it is three and a quarter inches wide so that one is mine and it's the slimline patchwork next up is my design and it's a tea doily and this is for using with your teacups your teapots and i can tell you now that i know a certain designer is coming out with some absolutely stunning cookie dies soon so if you have got your teacups and saucers and things like that then you're really going to enjoy having a nice doily underneath them that is four and three quarter inches next up is my design and it's a shaker crown and it's a gorgeous size it's i put my finger there you're going to be able to get your glue in there or your tape in there you're going to be able to handle it and let me have a look across there we are at cut line to cut line four and three quarter inches it's a great size you can just have it hanging like a tag from a bag almost two and a half inches high you can turn it into a shaker you can just simply put that on there it can be for a boy so it can be a king's crown it can be a queen's crown and the bit that pops out of here which i thought i'd kept but obviously i haven't if you can see that shape there what pops out is actually a tiara ah here it is underneath all my stuff so you can do a little tiny tiara and that's the piece that pops out of there right next up is the goldfish bowl and this one is my design it's a shaker or it can be used flat i've actually done this flat today and you've got a piece there that you can take out so that you've just got the shadow of the water or you can pop it in obviously for doing your shaker and that's going to separate the frame for you for popping in so that you can have different colors of sequins top and bottom you've got five little bubbles and you've got two little goldfish and so the width of that cut line to cut line is almost four inches and then going top to bottom is almost four inches right so let's get into the samples oh and also today to help me with my samples i used my sparkle and shine uh sequin envelope i think this is also still available on surprise creation but i use the word sparkle and shine that comes with it and i also use some bling stones and i also used silver sequins and i use my little shell sequins there in the middle right i'm now going to get those right so first up i used that frame and if you remember this gorgeous poinsettia from last week in the tuesday tutorial i decided to use it there i used a sizzix embossing folder this is from their christmas bundle collection on hsn and you get i believe it's four embossing folders and one cutting die these are the 3d ones and they're only 15 dollars at the moment i know you have to pay like five bucks or something shipping but just totally worth it and i used the stuff that i said i was going to keep on my desk which is this <laughs> this is the gilding paste from cosmic shimmer and i did keep it on my desk and i certainly used it 
So I went over the embossing with the gold, which is the same as the leaves, and it's using that gorgeous surprise creation die. So you can get in and you can see all of those edges there. Just gorgeous, gorgeous sizes. So that is my first project. My second project is the Shaker Crown and I turned it into a card and that's where I've used the sparkle and shine and then for the dot on the eye I used another little crystal bead. I've got silver stars going on in there and this uh, card stock is from Tuesday morning and I believe this is my mind's eye, uh, this one. So that is my sparkly, sparkly, pretty crown. And you should be able to see my camera in that, maybe not. But as I said, you know, you can use the bit that comes out, you can decorate it up and you can have yourself a tiara if you want to. So it's got a good double use. It can be feminine, it can be masculine. And there's that other little bit. So you could, if you wanted to, cut that in a different colour and have that set off to a the side sort of thing and you've got king and queen so that one is that one next up i've got the patchwork slimline and this is what i was trying to explain to you see if we can get close but all those little scraps all those little images that you wished you could make a card with but they're just not big enough you can cut them with your patchwork and you can dot them around. These were um, bits of paper that I had left from making whole large cards and using virtually a whole piece. And uh, I've been able to rescue the bits that were left by using the patchwork and being able to get another card out of that. So that one is the patchwork die and I believe this one is Jen Hadfield. So you've got all those little birdies. And of course you can put a sentiment all the way across there if you wish to. So that is the money saving patchwork die. And then next up is the goldfish bowl and using surprise creations frames there at the back of it. And I actually cut acetate and put that to the background. And then I brought the um, other die cut sections to the front. I used my 1.5 mil black beads there for the fish's eyes there's the sequins and that gorgeous gorgeous raindrop my mind's eye paper there that's from tuesday morning and i'm glad i've still got one sheet of that left because it's one of those things that when you've got umbrellas and things that you're using for springtime cards it just looks absolutely gorgeous with it so that is what i have for you today I do hope you have an awesome day. I'm going to be up tomorrow for the Tutorial Tuesday and everybody's kind of asking what do we do with Alina Crafts letterpress um, dies? Well, I've got a couple of ideas. So let's do a couple of things with the Santa version. I already did the um, flower version in foil for you last week. So let's see what we can do i've got the feeling we can do some cold um, foiling using those letter press dies from alina so we'll have a look at that and we'll have a look at how are we going to color them yep and i'll see you tomorrow as usual all links below bye